Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about Spirit Halloween and stuff, and I'm just gonna sort of, you know, talk about them because it's like a lot to type. Um, people have been asking, when does my Spirit Halloween store open? It opens Friday, September 5th, which I don't even think we should open that day because we're not ready. Our store this year is so small. We actually had to take down the attic and half the gas station. We had to take down the part of the gas station where the lurching zombie goes. We don't even have the part of it set up where the limiting boy goes or the barnyard butcher. So guess what? We're really going to have no animatronics this year. So there might not be an in-store experience on this channel. Maybe of what we do get up, but yeah, we had to take down the attic because it's so small, there's so much costumes and stuff, so much fog machine and light stuff, and the, I don't even think the ruins is going to be up, we only have one part of it up, where the witch and the werewolf and the jumping cat goes, that's it. I don't think we'll fit any other, anything else in there. We might have to take down every cardboard piece, ba and, you know, it. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a little stressful. I mean, we're opening Friday, two days. After, you know, I don't, I, no animatronics are set up yet. We have thousands of boxes yet. It's, have, we're getting another truck in on Thursday. I won't be able to Skype my friends as much now to either because I have school. And I work uh, f four to nine almost every day. My school goes to like 2.30. But I'm going to have, like, homework, so I might have to actually stay after school just to, you know, get it finished so I don't, you know, start failing this year like I did last year. But, eh, I did okay but at, at the end, but, yeah. But I'm trying to think of more questions that people have asked so I can cover them in this video. But I can't think very much. It's almost time for me to go to bed, so my brain's going to be shutting down here pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. We had, like, all the baby and infant costumes hung up nicely. And the district manager came and said, um, We need to try and rearrange this. It doesn't look like the picture in the book or something. He wanted it to, to make it look like more of the picture. Well, guess what? The costumes are on the floor now. Because the girl got majorly sick and had to go home. So... At least they were on the wall before, but no, now they're on the floor. <laughs> and and we, did, we wouldn't have had to take down the, um, the gas station if we would have followed my boss's rules the way that he planned it. Because he was planning correctly, but the district manager, who owns like six stores, decided to change it up. So they And there's no way putting those cardboard displays back up, even if we wa could. He, they ripped them down. They ripped them, so there's no way to put them back up anyway. So you're probably going to like be giving comments saying what a dumbass and stuff like that, but eh. But I don't know. It'll be a miracle if it works out this year, but I don't know. don't know if I'll be able to scare people in the pumpkin costume this year either. That's really fun. <laughs> but it's so small this year. There's just... No room. It's you can, I'm sure you'll barely be able to walk in there, and we're not gonna make as much business since it's so crappy. And there's gonna be a bunch of bitchy um, customers saying, "Why is this so small this year? It's stupid," and all that. Because last year there was these. There's a dumb lady that came in and said, "Why is it so dark? Why it's not? It's not dark enough in here." She said, "It's it was darker than the year before," so she must have been on drugs or something. Because it was dark in the store last year, compared to the first year that I worked there. <laughs> There's just, the people there are so stupid. There's actually some people who walked in and said, are you guys open yet? And we're unboxing shit and all that. And it's like, my boss is like, does it look like we're open? <laughs> funny stuff happens. Like, the stupid stuff I find funny, but <laughs> that's why I like working there. <laughs> But yeah, I think that answers everything. I just want everyone to know that 
it's going to be very difficult to make videos there this year, and I don't know if there will be good videos, so I don't want people commenting, your store sucks and all that, because I'm just giving a warning that, yes, it already does suck, and that the videos aren't going to be very good, so I'm saying this before I get the comments like that, so. <laughs> yeah, hopefully next year, though, it'll be in a bigger area. I th I'm sure this is all we could do. I'm sure it was either open it up there or not have it at all because we don't want to open it up in the Gateway Mall. No one shops there. Every store in that mall almost shut down. And we don't want to um, open it up in the middle of the street. People aren't going to stop by for nothing. Like in the mall, people are just going to walk by. And when they stop in, they'll see something they like and they'll buy it. But they're not going to stop in when they're driving to like somewhere else. And just to look and then maybe find something they like. It doesn't work that way as easy. So, yeah, that's a little bit of what Spirit Halloween is going to be like this year. <sighs> Hope it works out, but... Yeah, I guess we'll see. I have more stories, but I just don't want to use up my full memory. or Otherwise, it's going to be hard to upload this video. Because when my tablet gets full, I can't do anything with it. I have to uh, do it on the computer. And not to, from the tablet, so yeah. Pretty much gotta end this video here pretty soon. And it, yeah. That's what's going on with spirits right now. Um, but it's still really fun working there. People there are funny and nice, and yeah. And weird, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess that's it.